welcome to Beyond the Trailer's coverage of the 2012 Academy Awards, giving you an in-depth look at the top categories. And be sure to cast your vote for who you think should win in our poll at tinyurl.com slash bttoscarvote2012. There's even a write-in section as this year the Oscars are snub central. Now let's take a look at the nominees for Best Director. Woody Allen, Midnight in Paris. As I mentioned in the Best Picture video, Alan is something of an Oscar darling, but for screenwriting. In fact, he has the most screenwriting nominations of anyone ever. This is also his seventh nomination for directing. Of all its nominations, Alan has already won three times, yet has never showed up to collect one. Nobody knows exactly what his beef is with the Academy or awards in general. He wasn't at the Golden Globes, but he has won, so don't expect him to show up this year either. And this category is so strong, he's probably not going to miss out on a win here. No, Alan's strongest odds are once again in the screenwriting category. But hey, Ben Knight in Paris is his most successful movie to date, and maybe he'll be back here next year when he tries to repeat that success in another European city with Nero Fiddled. Michel Hazanavishivos, The Artist. Wow, nominated for an Oscar on only his third film, and the first two were Austin Powers style comedies. But when you have a great idea, you have a great idea, and the artist is just that. Plus Tom Hooper, another TV director who transitioned to film, won for his third movie last year as well. Interestingly, Hazanavishus has cast Du Jardin in the lead role of every one of his films, and happily his good luck charm will also be in attendance come Oscar night. These two smart and aggressive artists are certainly hoping to cross over into Hollywood, but are also still going strong in their native France, prepping the players to debut this year. And while Hazanavishus has already made quite an impression in Hollywood, an Oscar never hurts, and he's tipped to win one. Terence Malick, The Tree of Life. a huge monkey wrench. Just when we think we know all the players and that Terrence Malick has been passed over this year, suddenly the Academy pulls him back in. The problem is that once again this could be another of those it's his time Oscar wins. After all, Malick is a very brilliant but temperamental filmmaker. Who knows when he'll make his next film, much less if it'll be Oscar worthy. Because come on, admittedly the guy's hit or miss. In fact, this is only his second nomination. So will Malick be a surprise win? And will the famously reclusive director even show? Man, with both him and Woody Allen being MIA, you'd think nobody wanted these things. Alexander Payne, The Descendants. Payne is another director who's had much better luck in the screenwriting category. And because his is an adaptation and Allen's is an original, they can still both win. However, make no mistake, The Descendants is a major contender this year, and a win for Payne in this category is not impossible. This is Payne's second Oscar nomination for Best Director and his third for Best Screenplay, which he won for Sideways. But all that really means is that it's also less likely he'll win the screenplay category, as he's already got an Oscar and got it recently. No, The Descendants' best hope for an actual win continues to be George Clooney. Martin Scorsese, Hugo. I feel a possible upset coming on. Although, is it really an upset if that upset already happened at the Golden Globes? Yes, nobody expected Scorsese to win there either, yet he did. But on the other hand, Scorsese already has a Best Director Oscar for The Departed, and as I've been saying, the Academy likes to spread him out. Then again, Scorsese seems to have really struck a nerve with Hugo and its message about film history and restoration. Plus, this would be the first win for a director using 3D, and Hollywood would not only love to keep that cash cow alive, but give it some artistic credibility. Then again, if all 3D movies used the technology as well as Hugo, nobody would mind. And those are the 2012 Best Director nominees. Who do you think deserves the Oscar? Leave your comments down below, and don't forget to vote in the Beyond the Trailer Oscar poll. It closes on February 18th. I'm Grace Randolph, and I hope you'll check out the rest of BTT's Oscar coverage.